So today the Warband Bank system finally went live after being disabled for a week. But how does it work? What does it do well? And what does it not do well? I wanted to go over all those points today and to start how it works. It's right here next to your reagent ba bank and regular bank when you go to any banker. You buy the tabs you want to get and they get progressively more expensive. It's pretty much banking like all the rest, but it's limited specifically to stuff that's not soul bound. Anyways, that's what it, what it is. Now, what does it do well? Well, for one, the first thing it does well is it automatically highlights what is compatible with it. Right off the bat, you, oh, you go to this tab and it shows you what can go in there and what can't. So there's no guessing here on what can go in there. These can go in there, these can't. It's that simple. Next thing it does well, each tab can be configured to be certain things. Like you can actually set the topmost tab to be current expansion only, which will block you from being able to put anything in this tab that's not from the current expansion. And when you do the bag sort, it sorts based on this. So say this one, Oh, it has one sorting rule, current expansion, but not professional reagents. So basically, I have it set up to where this is going to be my professional reagents tab. If it's not professional reagents, but it's still current expansion, it will all sort to tab two. Tab three is just my old stuff, like anything that's not current. And it really has no rules on it because I basically just want it. If it doesn't fit into one of these two, it'll get dumped in here, with the exception of tab four. Tab 4 is my equipment tab. If it's equipment, it'll automatically sort to this bag. And that's it. Doesn't matter when it's from, it just goes here if it's warbound equipment. And this specific bag, I have it as my pet stuff. Now, there is no actual rule for pet stuff. So to actually make this work, I had to disable sorting, which I'll get into why in a, in a bit when I'm talking about other points. But this disabling this makes it just so the bag sort icon doesn't touch this at all. So I can shove the pet stuff in here and it won't be touched because it's as enabled to do not touch rule, basically. So that's the second thing it does well. The next thing is the sorting itself. It always respects the tab rule, period. You cannot actually put anything in the wrong tab. Here's a piece of gear. I just dropped in here because it's the robot's the wrong tab. But when I use sort, it just got well. You know what? Never mind. That's a bug. Those are not flagging tier tokens correctly. Let me use some actual gear. Here's a piece of gear that should sort correctly. Yeah, there we go. That went to this tab. So I want to. Scratch that point about the tier tokens. Tier tokens are not flagged as gear, so they're still going to miscellaneous. So ignore that. Anyways, sort usually respects these uh, sorting rules. And that's pretty useful when you want to have a pretty organized bank by type. The next thing that's useful is to deposit all warbound items. If I click this button, everything that's flagged warbound will automatically be deposited. Which I'll do now. There they go. It all got deposited, and it should have automatically sorted to the correct tabs. Minus the ones that are flagged incorrectly. It looks like some of these are also flagged incorrectly. A lot of gear went to the gear tab, like it's supposed to. It looks like tier. Ports your armaments are not flagged as gear. So they're going to the miscellaneous tab. And all this went in there too. That's not warbound flag, so crash that that's also kind of buggy. I'm actually trying to I'm actually trying to say this stuff is doing right. And there's not much is doing right. Anyway, I'm moving on. That also didn't kind of that also kind of didn't work right. The last thing it does right is it has a search bar. So you could just 
search and it'll search by gear or with name text or whatever. And it'll even highlight the tabs that have something that matches that search. Ocean. Even if you're on a different tab, we'll highlight ones that have it if it's not in this tab. So that's the stuff it does right, kind of. But I'm going to deep dive into all the stuff it does wrong. It lets you choose icons for this, right? This game has thousands of icons, and I mean thousands. And there's no search bar, search bar whatsoever. Like, I want to set... Uh, this one, I want to set an equipment icon. Okay. Where's the equipment at? Well, let's just look for it. Okay. Look how slow this is moving. Nope, don't know where it is. Maybe we go faster. Here's some equipment. Now, equipment's an easy example because there's a lot of equipment items. Like, the potion icon took me a while to find. I had to do a lot of scrolling up and down to find it because there's no search. Now, look by comparison how easy it would be to add search. Here's Wowhead. It has all, all the icons in the database. There's 28,000... 880 icons in the game. Think about that for a second. When I said thousands, I meant it. I want a potion icon. Potion icon. Was that was this was this really hard to add, Blizzard? You give us the option to set icons on the tab. We can't search for an icon that's useful. Okay, let's see. I need a, my reagents tab. Let's give it an herb icon. Here are some good reagents icons I could use. Boy, that would have saved a lot of time if I could do it in game, huh? And here's the worst part of it is, even if I know the full icon name, like I searched it on Mowhead, that doesn't help me. I know this. Here's a good herb icon. I literally know the name of the icon is that. Can I search for that in game? There is no search. But what I suggest you can do is scope it between items and spells. That you have to find it manually, is what I'm saying. You need an icon for your tab? Have fun. This is terrible from a UI perspective. There should be a there's even a spot right here. That's also a weird bug. Follow the law of the dragons. Add that to the list. I click the NPC behind the window. Like right now, right now, see the NPC behind the window? It's actually possible to click the bank NPC Rocking. who's behind the bank. This should have a higher priority. This is, this, is, this is the bank. So this window is a floating window with NPC click through, which means it's possible to click off it if somebody runs behind you or something. And it's messy. Just put it that way. Anyways. Moving on to the next thing. There is no possible way to sort just the current tab, period. This button is always going to sort all tabs. So if you want to sort just one tab specifically, you have to first click the other four tabs and choose ignore this tab. So that you have like ignore, 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 don't ignore. Just before you can sort one tab. There should be a button to sort just the current tab. Like, this is my miscellaneous tab. If I just want to sort this without actually, like, sorting these. You can't do that. It's all or nothing. Now, a good thing warns you about that. It warns you it's all or nothing, so that's at least a win for that. The current expansion restriction is actually bugged. I have this... Both of these flag this current expansion. But notice it won't put anything from Dragonflight in those tabs whatsoever. It immediately shoved them as legacy content. Dragonflight isn't over for another month. And there are APIs in-game to distinguish that. There's literally APIs I use in DBM to where DBM knows which GUI to show you first based on the expansion level. There's one API that returns max expansion level, like, pur like purchase expansion level, so like that one right now, if I ran an API, it will return more within. That's probably what Blizzard's using here. They're probably using the, the API that returns the either the purchased expansion level or the max expansion level. That's a possible. But there's another API that specifically uh, returns the currently enabled expansion level. And if I run that API, 
via the APR the code, it will return Dragonflight. The bank should be using that API. Until Dragonflight is over, I would love my Dragonflight reagents to be going here. I would love my Dragonflight potions and such to be going here. They are not old stuff yet. That is a design oversight that sadly I don't think they'll probably fix before the next or before uh, Dragonflight's over. But I mean, they have a, at least a year and a half to fix it before midnight, right? So maybe when Midnight Prepanch comes out, more within stuff will at least go into these tabs. We'll see. But that's something that should have been thought, thought about ahead of time. So as you can see, it's, it's a pretty great feature, don't get me wrong. But it had a rocky launch with being disabled for a week. And now that it is out, it has some caveats that you really need to be aware of when trying to use it right. I still think it's kind of funny. These aren't flagged as gear. Nor tier tokens. But anyways, that, those are minor bugs. I'd say the biggest bugs really are the current expansion and the icon thing, which is not so much a bug, it's just a gross oversight. Oh yeah, and this. The dragon has much to offer. This window should not be clicked through. It's very much work in progress. Glory. A couple more points I do want to add that I'm not counting against it because it's just just the way it's just caveats that are worth noting. It's expensive, super expensive. It costs 3.1 million gil or g yeah, guild gold to unlock all five tabs, and it's a bit laggy right now. Like, uh, if I put an item in there, there's, just, there's like a two second, actually it's not as bad now as it was earlier. Earlier it could be up to five second lag, because everyone was using it at the same time. But basically I'm saying is, uh, it's a little laggy right now, but that's fine, as long as it's working. And it's probably going to be laggy for the first few days, because everyone's setting it up. And shoving massive amounts of items in and out of it, and sorting it around and figuring out how it works. So that's just, it's a mentionable, but I wouldn't consider it a bug or a, a con in the system because every system that's launched is a little bit slow at first until it like finishes, users finish migrating to it. Anyways, that's all I have really to say about Warbands. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.